So for us, partnering with e open why is the connected network so essential? If we don't connect our network, we will have stock shortages uh, in specific countries. We will have disappointed customers. We will have too much cash floating around. And that will, at the end, yeah, slow down our ability or our targets, which we need to strive for. We call our transformation journey uh, creating the connected network. So it, it really uh, resonates well with me that we are on this connected journey where we really digitizing our supply chain and make it more agile and resilient. My name is Danny van der Ster. Uh, I'm born and grown up in the Netherlands. So first, let me explain a little bit what Assa Bloy is all about. Assa Bloy is the leader in opening solutions, globally speaking. So we provide anything that provides opening, which can be a door, can also be a window, uh, can be the hardware surrounding it, can also be a big industrial door, but can also be things like passport technology. So entering a country because that's basically providing opening to a country. It's a big space we operate in and we are the global leader. We are bigger than number two, three and four uh, combined. We grow through acquisition. So we have 5% organic growth as a target and 5% growth through acquisition. And that actually also explains part of our supply chain challenge because on a global scale, we acquire 1.5 to two companies every month. My team started in 2019-20 when we developed supply chain and logistics really as a differentiator to strengthen our customer offer. When we started with Ito Open in the development journey of the digital supply chain, we looked at where can you make the biggest difference. And the biggest difference is in our upstream part of the supply chain, because the goods travel from Asia have a long lead time, but also have a manufacturing lead time, which easily can up to six months. So we needed a better tool to help us on forecasting, uh, demand planning, demand sensing, supply planning, inventory optimization, because as part of Octopus, which is how, what our transformation journey is called, we are creating a connected network. So I want to be able, if I have too many safes in Sweden, I want to reposition them to the UK and not having to buy new uh, safes at a supplier in China. And for that, I needed more tools Asa Abloy's supply chain was managed by really a distant approach, so locally in a very fragmented organizational model and very much by Excel, Power BI and so on and so forth. And we're now transitioning in a much more digital supply chain in which we get control into the center and we help the local teams in really improving us because we will not do everything centrally. It's more control, visibility, help them in improving. The work will be, still be done locally, but with enhanced teams, enhanced tools, so that they can do a better job that takes less effort and they can provide actually more value to the company. We grow through acquisition, as explained. That acquisition is to a certain extent also funded out of our own cash flow. That cash flow, of course, can be stuck in non-moving inventory. So within Assa Bloy, we have selected, amongst others, the multi-echelon inventory optimization tool of e open to optimize our inventory. And what I mean with that is we have created a warehouse network and that warehouse network is connected through e open and, with, and that are multiple echelons. So we can start repositioning the stock within the network to ensure we bring the stock there where the customer needs it so that we improve the customer service, we lower the buffers we need to inventory, and with that improve our cash flow, combined with improving the customer experience. So it's really making more cash available to the company to either invest in good stock to serve our customers better, or to be able to buy more companies. So Assa Bloy decided also consciously when we invested in Ito Open that we want to get experience with AI, machine learning, and so on. So within the planning tool, we use in the demand sensing engine, we use AI uh, to ensure we understand the forecast better, we get more reliable data. And actually every time we see that a planner has touched the forecast, it actually gets worse. So the machine is actually better than the human in this case. In the logistic visibility part of AI, uh, we use things like weather data to predict when a container really will arrive and not being fully dependent on what the carrier tells you. We were affected by the chipset shortage uh, because a lot of our products get more chips because they're all getting digital. And we are not as big as Apple, 
Uh, so we needed to be dependent on a few key suppliers and E2Open has really helped us in making that visible, in making sure we understand the supply chain and that actually drove us to a decision that in the coming years we want to implement multi-tier supplier uh, collaboration because we see that that was a lack in our process. But still the current E2Open tools already helped us with us. So the impact of implementing a more digital supply chain by E2Open is what I see with my young superstars in my team. They embrace that, they live and breathe that, they love it. As a supply chain leader, uh, what does E2Open do for me or the digital transformation is really yeah, taking Asha Bloy to the next level of the maturity curve. E2Open in the collaboration with, with Asha Bloy will definitely bring Asha Bloy a competitive advantage because our competitors have not uh, advanced as much as this yet. So we want to stay ahead of the competition and by investing in such technology, uh, we will remain ahead of a competition because we will be the first one doing this as well. And not only in planning, in logistic visibility, in the US we use supplier collaboration and slowly but steadily we will grow to make our full supply chain end-to-end -end digital.